I don't know if it would be the same gift for me related <laughs> to Rudy Gobert. Ah, you know? no. Yeah, no. Monty, <laughs> this freaking guy here, okay? I might turn colors on this one. <laughs> but here's the story. So the Timberwolves, they play tonight against the Lakers. It's at 9.30 Eastern time. But I want to rewind back to Friday mm. just for a couple of minutes. So what happened was the Cavs beat the Timberwolves. But at the end of regulation, Rudy Gobert, he got called for an offensive foul. There's 27 seconds left. He gets teed up for making the money sign at Scott Foster, an official. So Cleveland hits the technical free throw. It eventually goes into overtime because of this, and Cleveland wins. And so after the game, Rudy Gobert said, I'll be the bad guy. I'll take the fine, but I think it's hurting our game. I know the betting and all of that is becoming bigger and bigger, but it shouldn't feel that way. So what's happening here, he's saying, oh, yeah, Scott Foster, he must be on the take. Or the reason that foul was called was because of gambling. And I'm, I'm looking at this like, that is so damaging toward the NBA to even put it out there where it doesn't take much for fans to buy into a conspiracy theory. Well, Especially if it's the NBA or it's gambling. You've got the Temple situation in college hoops where there's there's crazy line movement and the authorities are looking into this like, is there something wrong here? And I, like, Why would you put this out there when people are, are already skeptical? You better have some proof and he has none. Luckily for the NBA, it's just Rudy Gobert. Like, come on, everybody. Rudy Gobert, it, I mean... Tonto, idiota. He made that gesture behind Scott Foster's back, but made the gesture towards the other ref. Did you see that? He like, I was like, so you want the other ref to see you do this? Like you thought, oh, he's not looking at me, but I'm gonna make sure this chick looks at me so that everyone can see me making this stupid gesture. The call itself, I I hate those calls where it's like that foul could have gone to anybody, but obviously he was frustrated with the way the game was going and how, you know, uh, the game was being called. No excuses. This is not your first time that you've done something so stupid, Rudy yeah. Gobert. This is not the first time. So it's like, why are you bringing more attention on yourself when you already know people are talking smack about you? You already know that. And then you decided to do this. So that's really the only positive thing. It's that it's this guy doing it, where everybody is either going to laugh it off or joke about it because it's Rudy Gobert. But I am with you. You can't do this. This isn't. No. It's it's something that is too serious, especially now with how high betting in sports is. Yeah. Everyone is betting. I have friends that will just hand me their phone and be like, who would you pick in this parlay? I'm like, man, everybody, everybody's doing this. <laughs> I don't do it. And I have friends that ask me and I'm just like, and it's not even, it's like, oh, I'm going to put a dollar fifty to see if I can win 20 bucks. Like it is the most simplest operation nowadays for you to bet on sports that you can't play with that idea especially on a public stage like that when no, you have you like what you said nothing to back it up right and think about it you had the tim donaghy yeah. scandal right. as a backdrop where there was an official who was gambling while officiating nba mm -hmm. games it has happened before that doesn't mean it's happening now, right? but it's incredibly damaging for a player mid-game to be making the money sign at an official and then doubling down after the game stating why. Like, listen, they have a last two-minute report for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's not just to call out their officials like, oh, yeah, Scott Foster missed that call and this other call. It. They're trying to let the public know there isn't anything that is improper going on here. Like, this is on the up and up. This is a legitimate result. Our officials might not be perfect, but there's nothing nefarious going on here, right? Like, that's what they're saying. And Gobert is doing the opposite with no proof. I look at this. What if an official said about a player like Rudy Gobert, oh, yeah, he's on PEDs? Uh, it would be horrendous. The story It'd be terrible, would, yeah. and the player would lose his mind. Like, what's, where's your proof? Well, hello? You're saying that I'm on the take? Because there's a call you disagree with, or there might be a number of calls you disagree with, that doesn't mean it's automatically a conspiracy. Very, very irresponsible of Rudy. Very childish. Very, uh, and not just be irresponsible because of like the weight of what you're doing, but your team was ahead in this moment. Right. It's it just irresponsible all around. And 
I don't know what his comments after where he was like, yeah, I'll take the final. Two. He almost in a way doubled down, which was his opportunity to like go away from and be like, I shouldn't have done that. But he in a way doubled down by saying like, yeah, I'll take the fine, whatever. Oh, yeah. so you're, you, you don't think you were out of line here when you have been out of line already in the past. Yeah, it's, it was just the, uh, what was it, the four-year anniversary yes. a couple days ago of him touching all the microphones yes. when COVID Videos was going around. Videos were back up, yeah, and yeah. running on social media about it. Yeah. It's just like, why? Why put a, put, you already have a target on your back. You have already crossed the line in situations where, like, you're rubbing not just maybe fans and the media the wrong way. You have to be rubbing your, your teammates the wrong way. They may not tell you, yeah. but they, they have to be annoyed with you. Be- Again, cost they them were the game. Up. Exactly, they were up. You didn't up need that by, technical. They're up by one point with twenty-seven seconds to go. If and- they, if there's no technical foul, it's not tied up. If Minnesota gets one stop, that's it. They win the game. Yep. And he he took that away from them. Yeah, it's just <laughs> it's it just wise. again like you laugh about it. We laugh about it a little bit because it's Rudy Gobert. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, you hear this story and you're just like, of course. Who? Oh yeah, of course. It's like I've if got- you heard another story like, oh, Draymond Green punched somebody. You're like, oh, okay, yeah, uh-huh, he did it again. <laughs> the same thing. It's like, oh, Rudy Gobert, of course he did this. Of course.